In this video, a method of grafting using Beaufort rootstock is demonstrated. The end results presented in the video are based on Dutch conditions and experience from tests and in practice. We strongly recommend that you first read the enclosed grafting instructions before watching this video. Although the video and grafting instructions have been compiled with the utmost care, De Writer Seeds accepts no responsibility whatsoever for the results of the grafting method shown. Grafting is a process which is applied preferably to plants which have not been treated with growth regulators. In this video, a number of exceptions are dealt with, but some things are a question of experience and feel. Then you have to respond to the specific situation. The plants in this video are sown in a tray with rock wool plugs. If you wish to sow in the ground, we advise you to do this in a tray with plugs. If this isn't possible, prick out the plants quite a while before grafting. Sow the rootstocks according to the growing conditions from Doraita seeds. The sowing date depends on plant growth in your climate. In order to be able to graft, the stems of the rootstock and sion must have the same thickness. The ideal thickness for grafting is 1.5 millimeters. Rootstock and zeon can therefore only be grafted together during a short period. Here you see the Beaufort rootstock. These plants are now 17 days old. In order to simplify the grafting process, the plants must be sorted according to stem thickness. It's best to do this as soon as possible, but no later than two days before grafting, because the plant needs time to recover. A full tray has 240 holes. The distance between plants is about 2.5 centimeters, from stem to stem. When transferring the plants, take hold of them by the plug wherever possible, to avoid contaminating or damaging them. Sorting reduces the number of plants per tray to 120 to 80, so that the distance between plants is about 8 centimeters from stem to stem. This ensures better growth of the rootstock and creates more space for the grafting process. This is the ideal situation. You get the most attractive plants if you sow the sion in trays, but you can naturally also use ground trays or other sowing methods. By varying the light and temperature, you can influence the growth of the cultural variety and the rootstocks. In this way, you can ensure that the stems have the same thickness, which is necessary for the grafting process. One day before grafting, the plants must be given the best possible tending, with fertilizer and water. First, a plastic tent must be made, about 30 to 40 centimeters high, preferably from strong transparent foil, about 0.5 millimeters thick. The grafting must take place where no direct sunlight can shine on the plants. Shield the plants if necessary. Apply means of increasing the humidity where the plants are to be grafted, for example, by keeping the floor wet, using a humidifier or plant spray. Make sure that the ambient temperature is right during grafting, 21 to 22 degrees. The relative humidity in the tent must be between 80 and 90 percent. That's why you should dampen the plastic on the inside and make the floor wet. Before starting to graft, make sure you have all the relevant equipment at hand. Ensure that everything is very hygienic. All equipment used must be clean. Always disinfect your hands with a disinfectant such as Dettol. Always use new knives for grafting and be careful when using them. Use a new knife after every tray to prevent contamination. Avoid the possibility of transferring viruses by not smoking in the area 
in which the grafting is being carried out and where the plants for grafting are kept. First, cut off all the heads of the rootstock in one tray. Throw away the heads which have been cut off immediately to avoid mixing them up with a cultural variety. Cut off the rootstocks at an angle of 45 degrees. By cutting them on a slant, you get a larger cutting surface so that the sion can attach itself better to the rootstock. It's best to retain the lobes when cutting and the grafting point must not be higher than two to two and a half centimeters above the pot. If the grafting point is too low, there's a chance that the cultural variety will form roots. Through these roots, the grafted plants can be infected by the diseases the rootstock is protecting them against. If the grafting point is too high, the head with clip becomes too heavy and the plant may fall over. Attach the grafting clips to the rootstocks. Prepare all rootstocks before starting to cut off the sions. Cut off the cultural variety in the same way as the rootstock. Never cut off more plants than you need for a tray with prepared rootstocks. In the summer, you can lightly spray the sion or lay it briefly in a tray with clean tap water at ambient temperature to prevent dehydration. It is best here to cut above the lobes. The cutting point of the cultural variety depends on the plant's growth. The head must have at least two fully grown heart-shaped leaves. If there are too many leaves, the head becomes too heavy and may fall over. A 1 to 1.5 cm stem is easily long enough. Always check the necessary stem thickness. If necessary, modify the cutting point. Ease the sions into the grafting clips on the rootstock, one at a time. You can move the clip and stems a little, if necessary, until the rootstock and the cultural variety connect well. The cutting surfaces must make full contact. If there's a difference in stem thickness between the sion and rootstock, or a difference in the size of the cutting surface, the plants will not grow well onto each other, or not at all. Clips are also available with a cane eye. To prevent the grafted plants from falling over, you can use these to carefully prick clean canes alongside the plants. Place each grafted tray in the tunnel immediately. Moisten the plants or the plastic in the tunnel using a fine mist of clean tap water. The temperature in the tent may not exceed 28 to 29 degrees. A higher temperature seriously reduces the success ratio. Reclose the tent carefully after each tray. This is the only way to maintain the right climate for the plants. Once all the trays are in the tunnel, check after about three hours that the tent plastic is moist. There is condensation on the inside. Look through the plastic every day to see if the plants are flourishing. It's all right if they're a little bit limp up to one day after grafting, but after one day, they must all be standing firmly erect. The tent must remain closed for at least four days. On the fourth day, the rootstock and cultural variety begin to attach to each other. You can then peep through a gap in the plastic to check that the plants are not too dry. If necessary, you can waft some fresh air inside and then close the tent again completely. On the fifth day, start ventilating the tunnel in the morning by making a gap in the plastic. The idea is to reduce the humidity to glasshouse level in two days. It's very important that you do this gradually, in a number of stages, so that the plants are able to adapt to the new humidity. Under ideal conditions, you can open the tunnel fully on the seventh day. Make sure that the plants continue to stand erect during ventilation. 
only expose the plants to the sun again once the plastic has been fully removed. Now allow the plants to harden off for two days. Make sure that they have enough food and, if necessary, gradually change the ambient temperature until the desired cultivation temperature is reached. It's not necessary to remove the silicon grafting clips as they will drop off of their own accord. If you should remove them, there is a risk you will damage the plants. You can now cultivate the plants further in your usual fashion. With rootstocks from Doraita seeds, you are ensured at all events of a strong basis for your plants. We wish you every success.